What's up, guys? Um, so I know I said that I was going to do a uh, Fortnite solo showdown recap today, uh, but I want to get some footage from uh, one of my wins in solo showdown um, to pair over me talking just because it's footage and I can combine those and it'll make more cohesive sense. Uh, and I also uh, totally spaced last night when I said that. Um, I have to do a Westworld review today. Uh, because we watched the episode after the game on Sunday night. Uh, so, um, as usual, a Westworld spoilers ahead. Um, so, brace yourselves. Uh, again, spoilers ahead. If you don't want to hear any spoilers for uh, this or last Sunday's episode, or this Sunday's episode of Westworld, uh, don't continue uh watching but you know just drag the bar all the way to the end of the video so it still shows that you've completed watching the video <laughs> so yeah westworld um this was a pretty decent episode um it's solid definitely not as good as last week's um and i can't tell if it's really honestly only because dolores is such a horrible character this season like her terminator jesus storyline is like really bad i just don't like it um and now that we're halfway through the season we've barely seen any of sort of william's um journey right this journey he's supposed to be going on to go back to you know the beginning you know part of robert's game right a lot of what made season one interesting to me for westworld um, was, you know, the sort of cat and mouse between, you know, what was Robert doing? What was Arnold doing? You know, what was, um, the man in black doing? You know, are William and Logan, like, what are they doing on this quest? Like, there was a lot of, like, uh, rotating stories that had a lot of purpose and had a lot of mystery behind them. And I feel like one of the central characters being Robert, um, sort of driving a lot of that narrative with his sort of he's sort of the grand master of all of this westworld parks and now they've sort of upped the ante right and now that they've sort of you know m made it to where there's multiple parks there's multiple creations um it's weird because they show in this episode right that sizemore sort of uh reused assets if you will from westworld right you know they reused uh mave's storyline hector's storyline um and you know the hosts recognize themselves you know in shogun world and you know sizemore even says um you know uh, you know shogun worlds you know where they where we put people who wanted you know something that was you know w who thought westworld was too tame right and so when you think about Robert being like this like grand master orchestrator of like everything in Westworld, and he did all this to the host to cause this rebellion and all that stuff. What's weird is sort of the implication that either he also did that to all the other hosts and he was basically controlling every park, right? Or that he somehow got control of every park, right? But then you know, when you look at, like, the storyline with William and, like, you know, creating that consciousness, it almost seems like there were things happening at the park that Robert wasn't aware of, which sort of downplays his importance. But if he was able to infect all these hosts, he would have had to have known everything that was going on in all the parks. So that's, like, a weird plot point that I don't know how they're really going to tackle, and I don't think they honestly will tackle it. Um, it's just, I find it strange um, that the way they're sort of playing with, you know, the, the, the power levels, if you will, of the various, uh, characters and parks and different people within Delos and just trying to, you know, make their storytelling and, you know, build a lot of depth in their world and make it more grand. Um, it's almost like sort of lessening the impact, if you will. Um, so yeah, Dolores's storyline is just really shitty. It's really weak. I don't like it. Um, I absolutely still think that Bernard is fucking Teddy. That's that fucking, uh, scene where it pans to Teddy's dead body as they've dragged him out of the lake. And then you just pan up and you see Bernard just like fucking staring at it. Like what's going on? And he has that same sort of like far off distant confused look that Teddy always has, you know, even in the scene where Dolores is like lighting him on fire, you know, and he's like, they're like, he's rewrite, she's rewriting his code or whatever. 
Um, it really sucks. I was hoping, like, I freeze framed it and, like, paused it and, like, went, you know, frame by frame on the um, computer screen to see if there was any sort of hint as to what, uh, you know, was happening to Teddy. I didn't see anything, um, but I didn't have, like, fine instruments. I was just using the PlayStation controller. Uh, so maybe there's something in there that'll tell us kind of what's going on with Teddy. Um, uh, but, you know, obviously the Maeve storyline, uh, getting to see and interact with those hosts. Um, I'm curious to know because Sizemore says your daughter's in a different part. And now they've shown that they've reused, you know, these assets. I'm curious to know, um, sort of if because her daughter always has to die, that's like coded into her narrative, if Maeve will be able to save her daughter, right? Because we saw uh, Akane's daughter Sakura get killed, right? And it was almost and it was kinda like, oh man, that Shogun guy, he's like off the raw walls crazy. Like he's fucking insane. But it's almost like, wait a second, maybe her daughter's always supposed to die, you know? If Maybe that's her cornerstone, right? Maybe that's what's creating her and causing her to, you know, have this conscious and become fucking Neo. Like, I don't understand how she's, like, thinking things into people's, into the host's brain now or whatever. That seems really weird. Um, a couple other things that were strange to me, especially in, like, Shogun World, right? They used bow and arrows and swords and shit, so, like, how did they stop those from hurting the hosts or hurting the guests rather like it may uh, i can understand i could i could get behind bullets like the guns like it's not shooting real bullets but like when it you know targets a host it acts like a real bullet and when it targets a human it acts like a fake bullet or whatever but a sword's a fucking sword, right? Like, unless it has some sort of, like, coating around it, and the sword has some sort of technology when it, like, senses human flesh, it, like, changes. Like, swords and arrows are uh, a little bit different, so I'm curious to see how they could explain away how, like, you know, people go there. Unless when they meant, like, Westworld was too tame, they meant they sent people there to get fucked up. Like, that's a little, like fucking hardcore, but I don't know that that implication was necessarily there. Uh, something else that I thought was strange is when the, um, of course the air just kicked on, uh, is when the, um, Shogun said he cut off everyone's ears and that's why Maeve couldn't, like, control them or whatever, and that's why no one could, the daimo, uh, daimyos couldn't hear them. Um, I thought it was weird then that he issues orders and people start following them. It's like, wait a second, aren't all your fucking people fucking can't hear anymore? Um, unless that was trying to imply that the fucking dude can also send messages with his brain. I don't think that's the case at all. But I just thought it was like, wait, what? You just said that they can't hear anything, and now they're, like, issuing orders and doing all this stuff. So I thought that was a bit odd. Um, but I do like Maeve's storyline. I think it's more interesting than Dolores's. I don't think it's as interesting as Man in Black's and Bernard and Elsie. Um, so I'm amped to see what happens next week. Um... But yeah, I think overall, like I said, this was a, a decent episode. Um, it's, you know, building the, it's some more building blocks, right? Sizemore took that phone or that little thing. You know, it's curious because we haven't seen, the thing that I think is getting lost a little bit is that we haven't seen Dolores, we haven't seen Maeve, we haven't seen Hector, we haven't seen Sizemore. We haven't seen any of these people in sort of the future realm right we've seen charlotte we know she survives we've seen Stubbs, we know he survives right but where's man in black where are all these people at you know and with five episodes left i think they're start they're going to start tying up a lot of the threads they're going to start making a lot of these connections and i hope that they um get to a point where maybe some of these storylines start overlapping again because the strength of season one you know was you know oh shit you know, Williams, the man in black, right? Oh shit. You know, these storylines are, are, are happening at different period time periods, but they're still intersecting with each other and they're still all coming together. Whereas right now, all we've seen is Maeve sort of, you know, interact with Dolores very shortly and then leave. Right. And Bernard has barely interacted with Dolores at all. Right. Um, Clementine took him away almost immediately. Right. So I'm, I'm going to be curious to see where these all sort of coalesce and where they all sort of tie in together. 
um, and, and sort of how the, the, the next few episodes play out before we start getting into some more big reveals, right? Because episode 10 was, you know, last season, right? This isn't like a Game of Thrones where episode 9 is always like the big battle and then episode 10 is like, the you know, like it might have something a little bit shocking in it. Um, last, last season it was like, I want to say episode like seven or eight, they did the William thing and episode, and then the next episode was Bernard. And then like the next episode was like finding them, like they just hit them, hit them, hit them. So we're, I think we're going to start seeing some revelations and some shit happen pretty soon here. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, my review of the episode. Uh, once again, if you guys want to discuss it, leave in the comments down below and I'll reply. Uh, and until then I will catch you guys tomorrow.